find its way to Marsh. Now Smith, Bowden, 1-0. The veteran Scott Bowden. Again, peeling away to the right. He finds Bowden. The first shot's blocked, but the second finds the back of the net. Two for Scott Bowden. Mendy, certainly all hands on deck here. Tyrone Marsh with that shot. Here's Reese, still bouncing around. Mendy back in. Smith goes for it. Addy by away. Reese, 1 0. St Albans just couldn't get the ball away. And then decisively in the end, just watch this as the ball comes in. Lashed home. Comes Smith. Good play once more on the right. Reese is there. Oh, what a finish! Lovely header from Josh Reese. Boreham would have got a little bit of elbow room now with that second goal. Just watch the nudge there on Wiltshire from the number seven Reese. But what a beautifully flighted header! It was a delightful cross. Will Evans, they're looking for offside, they're not going to get it. Collected by Jacob Mendy, who's caused all sorts of problems, and he's done so again. It's a simply unstoppable header from Gus Mafuta. And St Albans City won't be coming back from this. Forward by Evans, and Bender now at full stretch. And Bowden collects, and there's a great chance here. And Adrian Clifton makes it four, and he hasn't been on the field for two minutes. Adrian Clifton's first two or three touches of the ball here are to control it and send it into the net for 4 0 to Boreham Wood. It's a 90 minute game of football, it's 11 lads against 11 lads, and if we go and deliver on the game plan, I honestly believe we can cause an upset. This is Marsh, and he will reach it. It's a big chance, it's a brilliant finish! Tyrone Marsh for Paul and Wood. And the non-league side are daring to dream already. They lead against AFC Wimbledon. Clifton straight into it. Does still have support, not necessarily in the significant number, although there are three in the penalty area, and that'll do it! Off the bench to settle it! It's a stunning instant impact from Adrian Clifton, and the fourth round beckons for Boreham Wood for the first time in their history. History is made in Hertfordshire, and Boreham Wood advanced to round four of the FA Cup for the very first time in their history. run it has been they've beaten Barnet they've beaten Eastleigh they've beaten St Albans and then in round three they beat AFC Wimbledon Raymond to Jacob Mendy Kilkenny's clearance Ricketts it's in Mark Ricketts for Boreham Wood the captain the 37 year old scores Absolute delight for Boreham Wood. They worked it beautifully. Billy. Nicely done. Christie off the bar. Off the post from Billing. In from Anthony. The flag's up. It's not going to count. Jaden Anthony's effort is not going to count. The flag is up. Well, Christie shot here. Well, as that comes off the bar. What happened next didn't matter. The first save did definitely matter. Why are we still playing? They say Stacey's header is blocked and half cleared. And Boreham Wood are into the fifth round of the FA Cup. That is extraordinary. Fifth tier Boreham Wood have made it through.
to the fifth round of the Emirates FA Cup with a fantastic performance at Championship Bournemouth. 74 places between these two clubs in the football pyramid in England, and it mattered not one jot. Yes, boys, just want to wish Luke and all the guys all the best ahead of your trip to Goodison Park. Watch your last game, you were brilliant. Defend like that and you give yourself a chance. Come on, boys. Luke Garrard brings Boreham Wood to Goodison Park. What an evening for the 36-year-old and his players. Give that away to Marsh, who could go for goal here. John Joe Kenny's ball in and Rondon. Oh, he squeezed it in. Salomon Rondon. Gordon, Richarlison, lovely return, it's Gordon! It's a big save at this moment in the tie from Tay Ashby Hammond to deny Anthony Gordon. This is Richarlison, good try! Equally good save. Good strong hand from Ashby Hammond. Gordon working the corner short to Townsend. Going to drift this one in, and up goes Rondon! Now did it cross the goal line? Referee says yes, buzz on the wristwatch of referee Tony Harrington. And Rondon has his second goal, and Everton is surely through now to the Emirates FA Cup sixth round. Did all they could, really. They weren't much of an attacking threat, the non-league side. Boyhood, Evertonian, Kane Smith, particularly big night for him. Finishes at Goodison Park as Everton go through to a quarter-final tie away at Crystal Palace. Everton 2, Boreham Wood 0. And Boreham Wood can bow out of the Emirates FA Cup with their heads held high.